presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action. It's not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 20, NASDAQ off 2, SPs off 2, gold contract down $28.40, trading at 1990 an ounce. We have silver down 29 cents, $25.30 an ounce, light sweet crude up 37 cents, $77.74 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 5 ticks, trading 114.15, the 30 year off 13 at 129.29, and king dollar, king dollar. Down nine ticks, trading 101, 831. The euro is at 109, the yen is at 124, and the British pound is at one. British, the British pound is at uh, 124, uh, the yen's at 134, the British pound is at 124 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that we have a high volume intraday low, folks, that I expect we're going to go after coming into this close. So you take a look at this. We've had a really cool trading range out here today. I mean, it's 20 points up and down, left and right. Uh, but what's hanging out here in spades, okay, you can see that bar. That bar is a high volume low at 41.35. And what you have right here, let me pull this out of the way. If you're watching Tiger TV, see the expansion of volume already? What time is it? So that's, that's, that's it's nine, nine minutes into this bar, but you can see the expansion of volume already. The expansion there on this bar, 29,000 contracts versus making a high out here at 17,000, okay? So we take the, the top of that bar. Let me see the top of that bar. Okay, so this is cool. Oh, this is interesting. Let me do this. This is uh, oh, it's going to get tricky. So see the top of this bar is 20, no, 41.49. And we just got down to 41.47, and it did reject it. Uh, and we'll see where this shakes out. I, my take is that we're going to go down to the bottom of the bar. But, you know, you hear me talk about this plenty of times, is that but when you're looking at the bars, you always, you always have to be cognizant of the top of the bars, too. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where this ends up going. My take is we're going to go to the bottom of this. It, because of the fact of the matter is that's the, ra the range that we've been in all day. Yeah. You know, when a, when a pop top side, you can see what ends up happening. You, you've, the volume died in the vine. Gold. Gold contract out here. We're going to be doing over 200,000 contracts. And this is all about the U.S. dollar, by the way. You take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract's coming down as 200,000 contracts right now. And if we just bring this back a little. And, you know, your .382 is what? 1974, your 50 is 1946. Those, those are your targets. That's the bottom line. And it's all about here. I mean, the, the dollar is running the whole game out here, which is pretty cool. Because it makes, when you have correlations, folks, it's much easier when you have correlation. Now, it looks like the dollar hasn't done anything. And what's intriguing about this, that it hasn't moved that much. 
But you would you want to take into consideration if you only get this small movement like this and the S&P can go up and down 20 points, guess what? <laughs> uh, if we get the movement that I think we're going to get, you're going to have a lower markets. Um, you know, I suspect I, I expect lower markets coming into close today, but I'm talking about next week, really lower markets. And, and you can see we got a huge expansion up here this morning. And that expense when the dollar went from a price point of the 101 all the way up to 102.19. And then if you take a look at that, that's when the, let me flip this around, that's when the S&P, that's the S&P, that's where the S&P has this high volume low. And what's happening right now is that the dollar is getting juice coming into the close, you know, so we'll see where this shakes out. And of course, the, there it is. That's when the S&P went from the 4158 down into the 4135 in, in 20 minutes, no, 10 minutes, two 10 minute, two 10 minute bars did it. You know, so I expect we're going to be down into those levels. We go inside the NDX 100, and we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Amazon's up 3%. You got uh, what is it? Yeah, CSX, the train company, up 2.9%. Gilead's up 2. CrowdStrike is up 1. Taken away from it. Airbnb's down 3. You get uh, Zoom Communications off 2.8. Uh, Walgreens Boots, no, no, Warner Brothers is down uh, 2, and JD.com is off 2%. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise out here, we have uh, Procter & Gamble uh, putting 34 positive points in, Goldman 16, uh, Home Depot 10, taken away from it. United Health, minus 30, Boeing minus 19, Caterpillar minus 18. Uh, we go over to Procter & Gamble and uh, they come out with their numbers. Now, it's so intriguing, man. There's no doubt, you know, they, they, came out, they came out with decent numbers, man, because they went up on their product line, and I buy a lot of their products, man. I mean, they went up on their product line by 10%. You know, that's how they made their money. Because what happened, the volumes went down. And what's hitting, you know, companies like this is that, you know, when we go into all, our, all these stores, um, we're, I, we're, you know, like we go into Publix. I, we shop Publix all the time. And what has happened in, in the, you know, the aisles of Publix, it's turned into all Publix products. I mean, it started out years ago, you know, they would, you know, follow, they take products that they were selling a lot of, and then they, then they start branding them themselves. And I, I'm sure for, in, in the context of the consumers, meaning, you know, the manufacturers, that is a big challenge, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, but, and, and, Procter & Gamble's case, they went from having 165 products down to 65. And they got rid of everything that was lagging. And uh, <laughs> needless to say, um, you know, they're concentrated on everything that they not only make a lot of money, sell a lot. And, you know, bottom line, they took in 20 billion in 90 days. They brought a dollar 37 to the bottom line. And on top of that, they're still growing, which is a mind blow. In the United States, they're still growing like 2.75% a year. Internationally, they're growing only by 1%. Now, that being said, um, you can see these numbers on the third, on the, on the uh, they're, they're growing, let's see, what is the biggest one? Fabric and home care, and then health care. That's the big numbers. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading down 25. NASDAQ is off 5. S&P is off 3.5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 29. You get the Nasdaq uh, down five and a half. S and P's are off three and a half. And folks, if you do, if you are on Twitter, I just decided. I, I just, uh, I came to the, I guess the 2023 uh, being here now. I just signed up on Twitter. Uh, the handle is obtiger777. If you'd like to follow me, and I'm going to be active out there, you know, basically with trades. Okay, so it's Ob Tiger 777. Let's go take a look at the uranium market out here. It's that's U R N M, I believe. N M is that it? Okay, so this is a the Sprout Uranium ETF. The low here is 27. The high is 45. Okay, so you have Kamiko's in there. That's 15%. Kamiko is the largest uranium company in the world. Denison's there for... Okay, so real question. Let's see. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay. Well, you get a high volume low, though. It's going after. There's that high volume low. That's, that's We're at 29.26. 28.22... It's going after. Let me pull this back and put this on a weekly first and a monthly. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying this thing right now because if it breaks this, you can see that it's still, it's, stick, it's sticking out this high volume low. And that's where the strength is. That's where it came off the low at 29.37. But if you break that low, then the thing can go a lot lower. So bottom line, um, I wouldn't be biting yet because something to remember, folks, that a test is not a test until it actually gets hit. That's that's the real bottom line. You know, that's how it works. We gotta take a look at uh, Amazon. Amazon's getting a little um, love out here today, and it has volume in it. Interesting. Okay, so you get we on Amazon, you get a high volume low high that's hanging out there at 114. The bottom of that now is the 108. So you know you can see the expansion of volume on Amazon now. Right now, that's just starting. Up, that's starting up. Okay. That's saying that it doesn't want to actually hit that area. And if we take a look at 427, so that's next week, right? Yeah, they're coming out with the numbers next week. They are going to be looking number-wise. Let's see what they're looking at. They're looking to do um, $124 billion to the top line and $0.20 cents to the bottom line. Now, Amazon, look at these numbers. These growth numbers are something else, man. Um, 
Yeah, in North America, they're still growing by 7%. Their web service is growing by 10%. That's per year now. Uh, internationally, they're growing by 5.5%. So you're talking about monster numbers um, when we're talking about that type of growth. The, the mind blower here when you look at these numbers, folks, is look at this. Five years ago, Amazon grossed $280 billion. This year, they're looking for $555 billion. I mean, how does that work? How can you grow that exponentially? I, 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 I understand. I mean, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, it's very easy, you know, hitting a button on Amazon, everything gets delivered, doesn't cost anything. It's like, okay, that works. There's no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at the GDX inside of the, the metals market out here. So GDX coming down with light volume. That's what you want. Because I think this is just a retracement. I tell you, yeah, it's just a retracement. See, see, you're coming, you're coming into strength on the GDX. You got only 16 million shares to get to 38. Now, what does happen is that we're right close to getting in the lower range. 33.34 gets you in the lower range. We hit 33.29, so I expect we will. But that makes sense because of the fact, folks, okay, of how that we went to, you know, we started out on the GDX at 26, and you went all the way up to 30, 38, I think, 36. Yeah, 36. So, you know, that's, that's a huge move. And when you want higher price, what ends up happening is that the, if you pull back with lighter volume, that sets the next leg up. I mean, I know it's frustrating, but listen, things can't go up forever or down forever. That's just how markets move. If you get used to that, then you start getting used to that you're looking for a pullback, and you're looking for that pullback with lighter volume. The reason being, inside of the gold market right now, I'm looking for an ABC structure up. And if that's what we get, it's going to be a very large ABC structure on the, up because, the, because of the way that both in the physical metal as well as the equities, they, the A to B leg is a nice long leg. And that's what, that's what you want. We're going to take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, and I suspect we're going to see the same thing, meaning that we take a look at it, it's going to come back with much lighter volume. We, don't, we won't have today's, but we can look at yesterday's. And that's going to give you another indication that that's more than likely what we're doing. So we take a look at the XAU. You're coming into 28 million, and we did 23 two days ago. Yesterday, we're trying to get higher. So that, see, that yesterday was a danger because yesterday, we tried to go higher with 19. We had already come down at 23. This, we'll have volume out here today. You know. Notes and bonds. Now, we take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market, folks, looks to me like we got an ABC structure up. And that is what's going to, bottom line, make the dollar go higher. So if we take a look at this uh, on a counter trend bounce, that, that's, that's all I'm looking for. You can see you had a, you had a nice leg up. From the highs to the lows, you did just over a 0.382 retracement, okay? You rejected lower price right under the 0.382. You know, you're over it now. More than likely, what we'll see is that you go sideways, you know, a few days. This thing's going to go after the highs again. And if we take a look at the Fed, I believe the Fed number, let's see what this Fed number is. Next meeting is, is May 3rd. Meeting, where are you? Calendar, okay. May 3rd. So May 3rd is right around the corner. What's that, about a week and a half, right? Um, that's going to be right around the corner. And, you know, we'll see what exactly they're going to do. Meaning, are they going to go another quarter? You know, my take is that the, the, the rates have topped out. I just don't see them doing it. You know, and we'll see how the market reacts to that because that's where it gets tricky. Like, you can go both sides. Okay, they're not going up. That means that, oh, that should be bullish for the market. They're not going up. Oh, that could be bearish for the market because they're worried about squeezing the banks too much or, or they think they already squeezed the economy too much. You know, this is, this is where um, it gets really cool understanding, uh, first watching what the Fed does, then understanding what the market does. Okay? It can give you a, a kind of a, a good understanding that 
news does run the market, but only for a certain point. And the exact same news can get you two different responses. You know, and it just depends how the market takes it. I suspect what we, what's also going to be on the table now is the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling is going to be on the table for sure, folks, because, you know, the last time that we seem like we go through this every year, but the last time there was a real problem was 2011. I mean, no, that, that's so quick, I can't believe it. But, you know, if we turn into a problem like 2011, you, oh, baby, that's a whole different animal. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down six, the Nasdaq's flat, S&P's off one. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow was uh, down one. Nasdaq's flat. S&P's also flat. Let's go to CSX. Uh, see what's happening with CSX. Uh, bottom line is that they're trading up uh, 89 cents now. The low for this is $25. The high is 38. You're trading at 31. Okay, you get a nice pop. Did they come out with numbers here? Yeah, they come out with numbers. Okay, so we take a look at this. Put this on weekly first. Well, this could get interesting. Look at this. I'm gonna take a look at this. And yeah, you, you're breaking the downtrend. The, you know, the, the high of this is 38. And you can see, you, when you, when you, if you go to break a downtrend or an uptrend, folks, you're looking to do it with wide price spread, accelerated volume. And we have that right now on a weekly basis. There's no doubt. So 
they, let's see what they did. They took 3.7, 48 cents to the bottom line. Yeah. So they're, still, they're working it, man. There's no doubt. Microsoft. We're going to take a look at Microsoft out here. What do we have inside Microsoft? That's rejected lower price. That's staying at highs out here. The Google, which the battle's going to be on beyond belief for you with Microsoft and Google. Now, Microsoft's winning it. Now, see, Google, bottom line, can't hold price. You know, let me see if this is, put this back. Yeah, I mean, Google's down from, look at this, man. Google's down 33%. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> It really is. Let's put this up. Yeah. And then the high volume low, it never hit it. It's $70. Google came to, well, it's a high volume. It's, it's a high volume low, but Google came down to almost the, no, it missed the high, the high of the high volume low, that, that same buy. So the high volume, the bar goes from 70 to 50. And 70 was the top of it, and it actually came down to 83. Now, what is interesting is that, see, these last, these are, this is a monthly. So the last two months, Google has been pushing with volume, and now all of a sudden, it's going to fail. Because, watch this. Two months ago, you had volume of 750 million. Last month, you had set volume of 736 million. Well, we've only done 303 million and let's just look at this for a second. So you have, get this calendar in front of me. Okay, right there. Trading days, that's it. We only have five trading days left. You have five trading days left. So there's no way, well, there's never no way, but you have, there's a very high probability that you're not going to do 300 million and if you close where we are right now, if you close anywhere under uh, 108.82, that's a failure on price and volume. And so what's happening here is that the high and low of March of 2020 is still game in, inside Google. And let's see, when are they coming out with numbers? The 25th. So that's Tuesday. And the largest number of S&P stocks, folks, are, are coming out next week. Next week is the tsunami um, of earnings that are coming out. That's, that's, where we're, that's where we're going with this whole deal. We're going to take a look at the uh, TLT, the 20-year plus. Uh, my take is that, you know, bottom line is that, you know, these things want higher price. Uh, what you had out here in the 20-year plus, you did fail on price and volume out here. So... This might back and fill first to this 102. You're at 104 right now. We'll see how that shakes out. But you can see at the highs, we have volume at these highs. And you're backing down, you're backing down with light volume. That's how they're shaking out. We go to the uh, silver market. We take a look at silver. So silver reached a high. A week, and a, half, a week and a half ago at 26.43. The lower range starts at 25.03. You know, what's holding silver up right now is that silver did have a nice sign of strength on April 4th. So we'll see how that, that handles it. You know, it's possible that, that, can, that, can, that can stay tough. You know, we'll see. Uh, what does happen in the silver market, let's go take a look at a couple of silvers because you had hecklers pulling back, not, not with volume, which is good. Pan American silver also pulling back light volume. Inside of the silver market, now this is a heads up. What is, and this is the gold market also, folks. There's a danger that this could be, and I'm talking about the equity side, that you could really get a pullback here because see when you're looking at Pan American Silver, these are high volume spikes that, you know, we kept, it gave it up, like Pan American Silver gave it up since 1980. And you're at 1702, 
Well, seventeen dollars in general. Once you start digging into that bar, it's like okay, you can go to the beginning of that bar, and then if that's what we do, that means that it's real possible. This, you know, this is typical of the gold and silver market that you can turn around and do a .786 retracement. And that just frustrates everyone. And that's a big retracement. It's particularly, always remember this, in Fibonacci, Fibonacci's, because it's an expansion contraction theory, what happens is that the longer that the leg is, the bigger a .382, or 618 is. And so if you're cognizant of that, you will act sooner to either buy and or sell those positions because when you line them up, it's like, okay, hold it. Even sometimes a 0.382, if the, the A to B is long, a 0.382 is pretty big. A 5.0 can be huge. A 6.18 is like probably where you get in. You know? So uh, you really want to be cognizant of that. Now, let's take a look at the cues because I was talking about when I first did the update that the cues are stronger than the S&P. And you can see it on the intraday chart inside of the futures market. You know, we, we do have a high volume low that's out there. That being said, though, when we came back down, so watch what happened. 12,982 is your high volume low. When we came back down, you only came back down to 13,057. You know, so that's saying that as we came off that low this morning, what's holding this up is that it had strength also at 10, 10 past 10. A 10. When that came off that, and, and the S&Ps not, do not have this. Um, so there's a buyer there that's setting up. And that really gets intriguing because of the fact that, you know, we're going to get a slew of tech stocks next week. We'll see how that shakes out. But you get the gist of it. Uh, IWM, let's go take a look at the small caps out here. Small caps, the way they're set up. That's funny, they're set up the same way, man. Hmm, interesting. Let me put this on the daily first. Yeah, they're set up the same way. They're not ready to croak yet. They, they don't have strength, but they're not ready to croak yet. You know, big time. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 17. NASDAQ's up 5. S&P's up 1.5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's up 15, Nasdaq's down 1, S&P's a flat. Let's go see what uh, Yellen's up to here. So Janet Yellen uh, announced Friday a proposal to the Financial Stability Oversight Council that would raise the way non-bank firms are designed. The existing guidance issued in 2019 created inappropriate hurdles as part of the designation process. These new additional steps are not legally required by the Frank Dodd, nor are they uh, useful and feasible. Some of them based on flawed. Let's see, one second. <laughs> Listen, what a bureaucracy. Listen to this, folks. She said such a designation process could take six years to complete. <laughs> oh, man, sometimes it blows my mind. Now, the thing that's amazing, so think about this for a second. This is how powerful banks are, folks, right? Is that it's the banks that went south, right? And she's talking about non-banks. <laughs> so instead of fixing the financial, the regional banks, okay, which the bottom line is that they got off the hook a couple years ago. Um, they, this is, this is perfect. So, Hey, what is that? What is that game with the you know the the thing you you put your hands on, right? Now watch this. Now watch this. So it's the banks that went south, and she's working on the non-bank firms. I mean, I mean it's like it, it's just. I was gonna say you can't make this stuff up, but I don't even like that saying because it's like. But it's just, in this case, it's there. You know, I mean, so strange. Um, but guess what? That's, that's how it works, man. That's how it works. Instead of going to fix the problem, you get everyone's attention on something else. And that's what that is. It's like, oh, hold on. Yeah, we have a problem. We have a problem with the non-banks. Oh, really? How about, how about all the banks that have, you know, all this junk paper on their books that the Federal Reserve is willing to pay, you know, 100 cents on the dollar as collateral, even though some of those are, you know, Three card Monte, thank you, Phil. Thank you, man. Three card Monte, man. That's right, three card Monte. That, that's exactly what this one is, man. Like in spade, in spades. There's no doubt about it. They go take a look at. Uh, let's go take a look at this oil market because what oil's been trying to do is fill this gap. Yep. So the gap here. The gap is. 75.80, we hit 76.72 today. You get 27,000 contracts. If we go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE out here. That's gonna fill the gap too. You know, they have this, the XLE has a gap out there of uh, 82.92. We've hit 84 so far. X on mobile. Yeah, they all got the gap, you know. And the longest, you can, you can see Exxon's been going sideways two weeks after it had come out with good numbers. This is always dangerous, folks, that when you come out with good numbers and you get volume that comes into the market, but you can't get to the swing high, that's telling you that you have sellers before the swing high. Now, the swing high in this is 119.63. And they come out with their numbers and they hit 
116.85, got as high as 117.18, but what that means is that there's larger players that are selling it. In fact, let's go, let's go see if we can see a few of them. So I'll bring this up, PHDC. This is the largest owners inside Exxon. If they own more than 5%, they have to register ASAP. So we're looking for, oh, there's one, that's a buyer. Who's that? That's State Farm Mutual, they're a buyer. Yep, a seller, there's a seller, Charles Schwab, they probably just need the money. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's probably one of their funds. Okay, so let's do this. There's your buys. Let's do your sells. Okay, so right there. Oh, there's some sells. Franklin Resources sold. They still own plenty, though. They, they sold 2.2 million. They have 13 million left. They got Ameri Ameriprise sold 2 million. They got 20 million left. Here's a new seller. Just, uh, what day is today? This is the 20th. So... That's cool. That's Credit Suisse. You know they need money. <laughs> um, right here. Oh, Charles Schwab again. That must be another fun, too. So let's go to CVX. See where that is. Okay. Okay, here's a couple of sellers. That's Deutsche Bank. You know, it's interesting, yeah, that Renaissance Technologies, they sold a million, they still got 11 million, though. Deutsche Bank sold 1.3 million. They only have 122,000 shares left. Credit Suisse sold 614,000. What's, what's intriguing here, outside of uh, Renaissance, is that you can see these are these are weak firms though that they're you know when, when I would look at something like that you know I think it's going to go fill the, the gap but when I look at something like that that's telling me they just need money <laughs> because when we just went through that list the companies that we brought up are very weak companies meaning weak banks and you know that's just saying okay the, the stocks are high they need the money they're gonna you know we'll see where it shakes out so when you get something like that you really I don't pay that much attention to it. You know, if you had, you know, stronger banks out there or stronger companies out there that are selling it, that's a heads up like, okay, you know, but when you get Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse, like they're, they're I mean, Deutsche, Credit Suisse now is what, UBS, okay, it will be UBS. And um, Deutsche Bank has been low forever. <laughs> You know what's amazing? It's amazing that they actually can stay in business for that long, you know, basically, it's not that they're BK, um, but there's not, there's not much there. That's the other bar. There's, there's just not much there. There's no doubt about it. Go take a look at the, let's see, we got the silver market. We got SLV. Let's go see what the ETF is doing. Okay, so yeah, you're pulling back now. The the SLV he has a small expansion of volume here today. You know, so this one's lower price too because the SLV went nonstop, eighteen dollars all the way up to this twenty three. You know, if you're in the silver market, you know the premiums are insane. You know, it blows my mind that the premiums in the silver market, man. You know, so just to always pay attention. Well, there's not much you can do about it, but the premiums are like percentage-wise, it's even hard to comprehend how the you know how do you make money? But that's that's I mean, if you're buying physical silver, how do you make money when you, those premiums are so dramatic? And it, it's because there's plenty of folks in the silver market that think and have always thought silver is going to basically explode to the top side. Dow, Dow Industrials up one, Nasdaq's down two, S&P's off one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 22, NASDAQ's up 6.5, S&Ps are up 2. And if you are on Twitter, folks, I've come into the 2023 um, century, <laughs> and I just opened a personal account on Twitter, and the handle is obtiger777. So, if you want to, I'm going to be sending out. You know, I'm I'm, I'm going to be basically sending out uh, what I think the market is doing, whether you know, quite a bit. That's the real bottom line. So, if you can check it out. It says obtiger777. Market-wise, out here, let's see what we got with volumes. Okay, we take a look at the volumes out here. And we're going to get some volume coming as to close because of uh, the Option X. Uh, you're at 519 million um, on the NYSE. That's going to probably do about 850, maybe we do 900. Inside the composite, we are right now, uh, that's going to do some volume, man. Let's go look at that. Because uh, 4.2, that means the composite will do about 4.8. And right now, that's going to be... Actually, so what's going to happen there is that even though we're up eight points right now, that's going to be a lower low with volume. That's how that that's how that shakes out. Because when you when you're deal, dealing with volume, folks, what it, what you do is that in this particular case, we see we would see it. It didn't go to a high, that's for sure. It went to a new low, not a new low, but a low for this week, and it wasn't above the high of yesterday. You know, so when you take a look at something like that, that's saying that you've actually traded down and you're trading down and your volume is expanding. That's, that's how I look at that market. Uh, if we go over to the dollar, the, the dollar is gonna be the number and continues to be the number. 
And I suspect the way that the S&P is up three right now, the dollar will probably pull back. Yeah, it did. See how this works? I mean, it's that cut and dry. You know, when I started the program, the dollar got up to this uh, 101.812. Now you're at the 101.730. Bottom line, the lower the dollar goes, higher the S&P goes. Higher the dollar goes, lower the S&P goes. Direct correlation. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health tap is in prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Bam! Look at him, folks. Building